Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to work on Carousel and as you know it is almost present in every app we need to um, have a knowledge on this for sure. So uh, today we are going to look into that and make something um, out of that in this current app. Okay, so first of all just quickly um, add this line in your project in your Gradle file and uh, then let it sync and it will download everything for you I have already done that so that it can be faster I'll uh, link this in the description below as usual and next we are going to go to the activity main so basically what my thought is I'm going to add in a carousel on top of the list so that it will just keep on sliding and the list will be down below um, so let's do that now if you remember last time we have added in cards so if not then please have a look at the previous video it will help you out to understand how things work right now okay so next we are going to after after you have downloaded this uh, you'll be able to see something like this uh, the carousel view you need to add that we'll keep it the width to be match parent and height to be 200 dp okay um, we'll add an id and we can keep the name as carousel uh, once that is done uh, if you have a look this is how the width i mean the height of the carousel is right now you can change it accordingly but I think this is perfect for my app uh, once that is done you're going to go to the main activity and add in the carousel here so if you remember we have added in the ID here carousel we're going to refer it here as usual um, so let's just quickly add in the carousel so let's quickly add in the carousel And I'm going to um, find the ID here. Uh, we have r dot id dot carousel, right? Now this is done. Uh, now the next thing is that we need to set a count of images that will be in the carousel. So I am going to most probably add a count of three here so that you know it will look. Pretty. I, I guess most of the apps have a minimum of three images at least in the carousel so I'm going to do that as well uh, so just add in carousel dot uh, if you type in count you have set page now after that we are going to set in the images okay so oh so we have the set image listener and we're going to add in a new image listener here okay so as you can see it has a position and it has an image view uh, for now I have added some images already in the drawable so image one two three I'm going to do that right now so um, let's quickly um, add in a few things so I'm going to use a switch statement here and I'm going to make uh, this the position so you know later when we access the internet and when we um, you know when we need to have a further set of data that time I'll explain you how to set the images from the internet and download it and add it according accordingly here but for now we'll just use whatever is present in the system we're going to add in case um, and we're going to add in um, 0, 1, 2, so position starts from 0, um, so we'll add it accordingly now, okay? Now we have the image view, dot, set image resource, r dot drawable, dot image 1, okay? And we want to break it here so that it does not go to the other cases. I'm just copying it here. Um, to make things a little simple and easy uh, so I made it image 2 here and this should be image 3 and 
this is like we'll keep this as a default statement because this will be the last statement anyways right that is done now we'll quickly run this and see if it's working fine so so as you can see now it is loading the images and sliding accordingly uh, we have set the image uh, according to the position so as it goes to zero um, it displays this one it displays this and the third image displays this so this is how it's looking like um, well i also need one thing here i feel like uh, usually in apps this is not static uh, when i scroll down uh, this should you know also scroll down um, automatically so let me add a scroll view quickly here so i think i need a linear layout here and set the orientation vertical now after that since scroll view can have only one child that's why i added that linear layout or else it's not required to add um, so this is the scroll view so we'll add the scroll view again to match parent and Add it inside here okay so let me just intend it a little so that you'll know what are inside which tags so um, I guess that's it let's quickly run and check so let's scroll and see how things work so this is how it's looking like so this is exactly how I want it. I should scroll accordingly because if you see in apps, it's, it does not stay static like that. So that's it for today, guys. It's a very short and simple video. Um, I thought in this video, let me concentrate on carousel and uh, will work accordingly in the next video along with internet or anything like that that needs data. We'll add it in. Uh, most probably, I'll um, work on the menu. Uh, because I think in these kind of applications you need a menu here um, yeah so I'll add that in the next video uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and also if you have any ideas uh, regarding what topic should I touch next you can let me know but most probably I'll be going for a menu on the side so thank you so much for watching uh, stay tuned and I will keep on updating you with these tutorials See you soon, man. Bye-bye.